<laughs> every little bit of news that comes out of woke SJW Disney regarding finances and money is not good whatsoever. I've said in the past, and just some more additions to their ever-growing list of negative news regarding the basically the fact that they're losing so much money. This is uh, basically what they're having to do is a, another desperate attempt to try to save some money, which is borderline criminal, by the way, too, which is not only are they purging content to avoid paying workers and evading taxes, well, basically avoid paying workers and also to evade taxes, I'll put it that way. Yeah, getting very desperate. You know, they became too big to where they thought they could never fail. It says here in this uh, article, Disney is purging content to avoid paying workers and evade taxes. Wow, talk about desperate. Uh, Disney's removing original content from its streaming platforms to cut spending on uh, residual payments to writers and actors. The company is also claiming the purge will result in a $1.5 billion in losses, which, which could amount to a substantial tax break. In other words, we're getting real desperate for money. It says in the article, continuing on, as the Hollywood actors and writers strike together for the first time since 1960, overpay working conditions and job security, Disney has purged dozens of original TV shows and movies from its uh, streaming platforms in a move that uh, hurts workers and gives subscribers fewer options to watch. Disney claims it needs to destroy the content to cut costs on the platforms that aren't making money, or sorry, on the platforms that aren't making money, but the experts say the company is uh, overstating the value of its content, which could ultimately help the company pocket a higher tax break. In May, Disney told regulators that it will incur $1.5 billion in losses as part of a content purge. Disney's chief financial officer, Christine McCarthy, told investors Disney was making uh, excellent progress on, the, on our cost-cutting initiatives. On this May evening's call, including removing certain content from our streaming platforms. Yeah, nothing good whatsoever. Continuing on, uh, it says in the article, but that 1.5 billion number is raising eyebrows among industry experts who question how Disney can simultaneously declare that it is purging content because it wasn't worth the cost while also asserting the move will lead to a staggering $1.5 billion in losses. Uh, there's an obvious upshot to this approach. The bigger hit that Disney claims, the larger the potential tax write-off for the company. Uh, in the context Disney streaming, where revenue is driven by subscriber numbers and churn rates, it publishes the limits of credibility at, at any of the shows removed could have had on this big impact. As Ar Ashwath uh, Damodaran, the professor of finance at New York University's uh, Stern of Sorry, Stern School of Business. I don't think it makes any sense for the company to take content off streaming platform uh, if it creates a 1.5 billion dollar so what creates 1.5 billion in value because it's a business. Why would you do that? You know, yeah, no kidding. Why would they? <laughs> says in the article, Disney streaming platforms, Disney Plus and Hulu uh, are not the only platforms that have been purging content from their libraries. Last year, Warner Brothers and HBO Max undertook a massive purge in the industry following the merger between the two companies, removing dozens of titles reportedly to save on residuals and other costs. This spring, Paramount Plus also removed original content from their platform. Beyond the tax write-offs, removing content it, that isn't helping uh, platforms retain or bring in new subscribers as a way to cut spending on residual payments to writers and actors as well as avoid paying licensing costs. It adds insult to injury for the striking workers who warn that uh, the few constellated streaming platforms have slashed worker pay, worsened working conditions, and made employment more uh, erratic. Uh, we, uh, and, though, and who see further cuts uh, to their already meager streaming residuals uh, when shows are purged. Basically, it's just all these other you know, tidbits, the fact that they're really desperate for money. Continuing on, uh, says in the article, Disney's move, Disney's move comes as CEO Bob Iger, who made $499 million over the past five years, has promised major cost-cutting efforts at the company, including 7,000 layoffs, and called the actors and writers fair pay demand not realistic. But experts say the Internal Revenue Service should not let Disney take a tax uh, write-off for uh, the latest content purge. If you uh, take a show off because people are not watching it, watching it, you can't in good conscience turn around and claim a billion dollars or even a hundred million because you're taking it off because people are not watching it. Yeah, and because they're losing so much money as the people are not watching it. Basically, all this, what it can be summed up as in, is basically woke SJW Disney is losing lots and lots of money and pretty much any kind of thing they can do that you, you think would be unthinkable, they're having to now do to try to save any bit of money whatsoever. They became too big to where they thought they could never fail, and now woke SAW Disney has learned the truth of go woke, go broke, not just being some vain, empty political phrase, but just being the blunt reality. So woke SAW Disney is failing on all fronts and have been since, you know, for quite a while. I mean, really just started, it went full speed ahead in 2022 when they tried to pick a fight with Florida over their law protecting parental rights. So they're going to keep going downhill until they learn their lesson that you go woke, you go broke.
So I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.